What is happening, folks? Welcome to Hot August Nights, August 2024, with the Road to Reno group, which is from Curry, right behind me. We drove from LA, actually I drove from San Diego, to Reno, and the GTO handled great. The only thing that broke, believe it or not, is the rear view mirror. <laughs> and it's driving me crazy. So what I'm gonna do, this is day two. Uh, I don't know how many videos, videos I'm gonna do. Um, most likely, I'm gonna compile everything into one video. We'll see how much footage I get. But I'm gonna walk around, do Steve Miller style. If you guys know who Steve Miller is from back in the day, skiing movies, because there's background music, I'm gonna have to talk over the video. Uh, so, without further ado, let's check out the awesome cars that are here and go from there. Let's go. Cody Curry's badass Impala Tri Power Five Tech? Are you kidding me right now? Here's Ralph's badass 71 GMC. Gotta follow him on Instagram. Shannon's beautiful bourbon. We're gonna be doing a one on one interview in another episode. Follow us for that. Will's beautiful truck. He drives everywhere. And there's Swanee's Malabeater. Oh my gosh, get over these people. But. Check this out. This is Chris's beautiful, slow as hell, C10. Just kidding, Chris. But he's like me, builds everything himself. We're also gonna be doing a one-on-one -on -one interview, so stay tuned for that episode. John Henson's beautiful cruising machine. I was so jealous, he was an AC, the whole cruise up here. Road to Reno, there it is. But this thing is so clean. Katie's beautiful Chevelle, give her a follow. Love all the content she puts out. Travis's sleeper Chevelle. Well, until he turns it on, because wait for it. It's an LSA 800 horsepower monster. Do not mess around with this guy. Alex is beautiful, patinaed. Truck. I think it has a roadster shop chassis, but wait for it, wait for it. You're gonna love the engine. Yep, that is an LT4, boys and girls. Wait till you see him drag race in the next episode. It is bonkers. And this beauty right here, we go head to head drag racing in a future episode. Stay tuned, this is Tony's Pantera. If you notice, it has a GT40 front end. Look at how clean this build is. I love the blue accents, but especially that clear firewall. Oh my God. This is Justin's amazing Nova. I cannot wait to do an interview with him in a future episode. So subscribe if you haven't. It's gonna be a blast, but this thing is bonkers. Famous Whips is here with their 74 K10. You gotta follow them on Instagram. Find yourself a hot rod to buy. They're awesome. Jose's beautiful 63 custom Phytech equip. I love, love, love the deep blue color. But check out the interior when we get to it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, how pretty is that? Manny's beautiful Chevelle just got painted LS, but it's green. My cousin. We got to get some side by side shots, bro. This Nomad built by Lakeside Customs is just ridiculous. Every single detail on this ride is so well thought out. Man, I wish I had the capital to have someone build me something like this. That interior, ooh. Man, who brought this car? <laughs> I 
Yes, the green is popping in the sun. I cannot believe I made it this whole way without an issue. Well, except for the rear view mirror. But my new 335 tires, you know, it's tough to tell, but they're super fat. The mini tub project went great. You guys, check it out if you missed it. Click that eye in the upper right corner. The, the gold seats, thank God they're not black because it's hot out here. Chris Decker's a family car. I mean, if you follow him at all on Instagram, he's got a badass El Camino you gotta check out. But this Chevelle is so clean. Man, love cruising with him. Hopefully get an interview with him later. This is John Curry's 64 Chevelle. Recently equipped with Vintage Air for this trip. So clean, you gotta follow John Curry Performance Group because they also make performance suspension for muscle cars. Let's go. Casey Curry brought this badass Camaro. It sounds absolutely incredible. I was chasing them through that mountain pass you saw earlier, trying to keep up. This has the same rear end that I have. Full floating axle, F9 housing. Man, so impressive. So clean, but check out this interior. So comfortable. Oh my gosh, I think I want one. Jeff with TCI Engineering brought his beautiful C10. If you're not familiar with TCI, they do suspension components, mostly for trucks, but go look them up. They do some killer work. Great meeting you, Jeff. By Tech Mike in the house. Brought his beautifully rebuilt LS engine powered C10. This thing sounds absolutely wicked. You gotta check it out the next event. So those cars we just went through are all part of the road to Reno. All of us drove up, so it's crazy, right? So now we're gonna go into the big boy toy store, they call it, which is part of the show. This should be bonkers. I haven't been in there yet. Let's go. Oh my God. Hell yeah, fun stuff in here. Oh, and it's air conditioned. I don't know why I wasn't in here earlier because I was sweating my balls off. Let's go check out what fun stuff they have. Oh my gosh. I love everything about this car. Man, of course it's roped off. I can't get in there. Dang, this is ridiculous. I met the owners yesterday, Steve and Sean, and what an incredible build this is. It took them six years. Look at that paint. Such a great job. 1959 Chevy Apache. Woo! Good job, guys. Well, I just don't have the words for this. This is nuts. It must sound incredible, too. Evil 55. Love the gold matching wheels and bumper. Crazy. And if that wasn't enough, this is what they haul it on. Evil hauler. Matching paint scheme, matching wheel color. Like 24s or something like that. I mean, look at that interior. It's on bags, it's dumped. Like holy moly. Guess how many hours this takes. I'm guessing this is going to be a three to four million dollar build for both. Like, woo, nuts. I do love Camaros. I know, I know. Everyone has one. This thing is pretty bonkers. Even has their own video. A little build video. Love it. 
Yeah, same Camaro, and I just came across about how they twin turboed it. Wait for it, wait for it. Yep, the turbos are in the back. Like, what a killer idea. I don't know what that does for your turbo lag, but what a bitchin' idea. Whew. Those of you that follow me know I am starting to love trucks. The paint on this thing is just badass. Whew. So clean. Okay, one more truck, I promise. <laughs> don't worry, I'm gonna film a ton of trucks. Hey, don't forget, leave a comment below. What's your favorite ride in this video? Too much fun. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Now as the sun goes down, this is what you do. You cruise downtown Reno. So many nice cars. There we go, Lord Chevelle. Our turn, our turn, when's our turn? Grand Sierra Resort was our home base for the week. Yeah, the week. This is just one day of footage. I have so much footage to go through, it is ridiculous. I know for a fact we have a minimum of five videos coming just on this topic alone. We have three interviews. We have another day of shooting cars and traveling around and visiting Summit Racing. We do head-to-head -head drag racing that day. I get paired up with that Pantera, and you probably know who won that one. And uh, we also have a video where I had to put the GT on a lift in Reno to adjust the rear end and drain the fluid, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, got to do that too. Um, and then I also have another video of banging headlights I just installed. So uh, yeah, discount code for you if you want them. Fast Monty, go hit up their website. I love these things. Um, but special thanks to our sponsors too. Hot August Nights, Fitech EFI, Summit Racing, and Curry Enterprises. All their Instagram links are below. Go check them out. Give them a follow. Uh, but until next time, like I said, subscribe. Don't miss out. Build them fast and drive them faster. See ya. Man, I love these black lights.